Hi guys, welcome to iNetwork365. And in this video, I'll show you how to block websites using OpenDNS in your home network and in your work environment. So first of all, what you have to do, you have to find out what is your router's IP address. So I will click on start, type CMD. And from here, I'll type IP config. So in this case, my router IP address is 192.168.10.1. So this is my router IP address. So next what I'm going to do, I'm going to open my web browser. So from here, I'm going to type opendns.com. So, so this is the page. So scroll down and here you'll find an option called consumer. So click on learn more. And again, scroll down. And here there are four options. Out of these four options, the last two options are paid version. And the first two option is free. So here we are going to use uh, the second option, which is open DNS home. In this, you can customize uh, uh, like which websites you need to block and which websites you do not want to block. So in this case, I'm going to click sign up. And make sure you enter your email address and password and create an account. So since I already uh, created an account, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to skip this part and I'm going to click on go right ahead. So again, scroll down and here you can see there are name servers IP address. So this is DNS IP address, open DNS IP address. So this IP address you have to enter in your home router. So in this case, what I'm going to do, I will click on new tab and I'll navigate to my home router. And also please keep in mind uh, like each one of you you might have different model uh, of router like TP link D link and there are more models which is available so the option might be different so in this case what you can do like if you have doubt on how to configure the DNS IP address you can see there's an option called home routers so when you click this and when you scroll here you can find there are some router model numbers so you can select which router you want and you can do the configuration okay so in this case what i'm going to do in my netgear router i'm going to click on internet then i'm going to scroll down and this is my uh, dns server address which is getting from isp so in this case i'm going to click use this dns server and I'm going to delete this IP address. Okay. So in this case, my DNS IP address is 22. Let me confirm. Yeah, it's 208.67.222.222. So in this case, 208.67. And the next one is also the same, 208-67-220-220. So in this case, I so in this case I click on apply. Okay. So while it's applying, what I will do, I'll go to again open DNS. So now I'm going to log into my account. Okay, once you log in, at the top you will find your current IP address, uh, your public IP address which is assigned to your router. And when you click settings, there's an option called add a network. So under add a network, you will find your public IP address which is already selected automatically. So what do you have to do? Click on add this network, then give a friendly name. So I'm going to give home router, click done. Okay, so when you come down, you can see your IP address over there. So click on that IP address. And here you can see uh, by default, nothing is blocked. But if you want, you can give custom option. And here, uh, there are some options like low, moderate, high. And for this video, I'm going to select moderate. And uh, let's view what is 
select on the body rate so if i click view you can see these are the option which is already selected under moderate so the contents which is coming under this everything will be blocked so what i'm going to do i'm going to click apply so it will take around three minutes to get updated and meantime what i'm going to do i'll scroll down and there is one additional option where you can configure for example in this case i'm going to block facebook which is always blocked so I'm going to click add domain, confirm, and now I'm going to select YouTube. I'm going to type YouTube over here, click add domain, confirm. So if you want to block any websites, you can clear type over here and you can click add domain. In case if you want to uh, unblock certain websites, so those things also you can select never block and type the website name. Okay. So next option, I will click on security. So make sure the last option is ticked so that it will block any suspicious IP address and click apply. So next click stats and logs and make sure you tick enable stats and logs so that you can view uh, like the websites which they are trying to access most. Uh, so it will just give you a, in a graphical view, then click apply. Then next you can click on advanced settings. So here it's all everything is selected. So in this case, I'm not going to do any changes. Okay, so now what we're, we're going to do, I'll go to my Netgear router. And here I'm going to restart this router. So after restarting only, the changes will be affected. So for testing reason, what I'm going to do, I'm going to type Facebook. And you can see, I can access the website, facebook.com. So I'm going to restart the router. Okay, guys, so now the router is restarted. So now let me check if I can access uh, youtube.com. So if I type youtube.com, you can see that uh, it is given an error message that I couldn't access. So same thing should apply for Facebook as well because I blocked facebook.com. And yeah, so you can see the block is successful. So let's go to open DNS and let me click on uh, stats. And let me click on block domains. So this will take some time to generate. Uh, probably it'll take like uh, within 24 hours you'll be able to see uh, that the graph will be updated over here and you can see like who are the users are trying to access the blocked websites so guys that's all about this video and i hope that you guys understood this video so until next time please subscribe like and share my video thank you okay guys so now the router is restarted so now let me check if I can access uh, youtube.com. So if I type youtube.com, you can see that uh, it is given an error message that I couldn't access. So same thing should apply for Facebook as well because I blocked facebook.com. And yeah, so you can see the block is successful. So let's go to open DNS and let me click on uh, stats. And let me click on block domains. So this will take some time to generate, uh, probably it will take like uh, within 24 hours, you'll be able to see uh, that the graph will be updated over here. And you can see like who are the users are trying to access the blocked websites. So guys, that's all about this video and I hope that you guys understood this video. So until next time, please subscribe, like and share my video. Thank you.